This is a video for anybody looking at one of the note cards associated with Moss Banker products. Thinking it's a bit long and that you can't be bothered to read it. There are quite a few functions that have been added over the last five or six years and it's getting a bit long now so I thought I'd just quickly go through it. Um, talk about the menu options and it should hopefully help somebody. I'm going to be using a peck slapper for this example which shares the same chat channel as the boob slapper which is four so if we do forward slash four menu that'll bring up the menu if you're wearing a spanker it'll be channel eight face slapper is six um let's go through the note card i guess uh, okay this first discusses the click prims. So if we press Control alt t that takes us into transparency mode and we can see all the invisible prims attached to us, etc. The click prims have got the blue icons on them. That's what <coughs> you click to trigger the Spanx. If we edit and then tick Edit Linked, this will enable us to move them individually, scale, etc. One recommendation is that you don't use the rotational gizmo because there's a strange behavior related to the root prim being rigged that makes the child prims fly off in weird directions like this press ctrl z and cancel that uh, so yeah if you're going to rotate the prims use the little rotational arrows down here xyz and you won't have that problem okay First things it discusses are the public and private modes, which are this first button in the menu up here. By default, oh, private yeah. mode isn't enabled. If you enable private mode, nobody will be able to click you, including yourself. If you would like to have it in private mode, just have a select few people that can click. Go into permissions and add their uh, keys to the whitelist. So if we go into whitelist, we get add, remove, show list options clear list so let's just do add if we open up my profile we want my key which is this here uh, newer viewers have got this little button so we can just do copy uurd paste it in submit down in local chat we get a little message that says been added to the whitelist and now whilst in private mode I'm oh, able to click um, Let's go into the whitelist and remove my name quickly. Let's just do clear list. And I can no longer click. Go back to the main menu. We'll put it back to not private. Anybody can now click. Permissions. Blacklist. We'll ban somebody from clicking. So we'll do the same thing. And now I can't click. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that the whitelist trumps the blacklist so if I now go into permissions and add myself to the whitelist then I will be able to click again <coughs> so just keep that in mind uh, let's clear the whitelist and we'll do the blacklist as well this little button at the bottom here sync any clickbait attachment that's got sync enabled will automatically load your whitelist and blacklist from an experience database so it just copies across all the attachments uh, while this is active any you know people you add or delete etc that will be saved to the database and that will affect every clickbait attachment uh, let's clear the blacklist go back to the main menu Next, we've got menu options and chat commands. Uh, you've already seen forward slash four menu, which is how you open up the menu. If you would like to grant somebody, somebody's clicking my beard puller, it's Marie. Uh, if you want to grant somebody uh, menu access, you can type forward slash four add and then paste their key. I'm going to slap Marie in a minute. That will add them to the menu access list, which means that now they, if they are within chat range, oh. can 
type forward slash four menu and bring up your menu. The problem with that is that they will be able to control everything in the menu and there is this lock option in the middle here. If we go into the lock menu, uh, lock options, attach will lock the RLV attachment point if you've got RLV enabled so that you won't be able to take things off of that attachment point and lock menu will lock you out of the menu. So if you grant somebody access, they can lock you out of the menu and then you won't be able to go into the menu, but they will. If that happens and you never see that person again, you can type forward slash four run away, which will clear the menu access list and grant you access again, but it will send a message to anybody that was on that list telling them that you've cleared it. Uh, what other chat commands do we have? Oh, you can do add and you can do remove to remove somebody from the menu access. List will show everybody on the menu access. Uh, we've covered run away and silent on and silent off will quickly toggle off all sounds and chat <coughs> messages if you're going somewhere that's a bit strict about those kind of things uh, you can toggle it off quickly uh, the menu channel you can edit if you edit the span car go into the description field and type whatever channel you want it to be so let's say it's seven I'm not sure if this will take while it's attached but we'll see I think you have to detach it and res it on the floor, but let's check. Oh no, that did change it. So yeah, just go into the description field, type the number, and then click yourself, spank yourself, and it will set the channel. Uh, okay. So the menu itself. We've covered private mode and the lock. XP. XP is the new clickbait XP system I've added which basically every time you click or you are clicked you get one XP so the person clicking you will get one XP and you being clicked will get one XP and you can disable XP by toggling off this XP button these settings are universal to all clickbait attachments this is one of the only settings in the menu that is universal. You, t you turn it off and none of your attachments will do anything related to clickbait XP. Critical hits, you'll see them come up in chat down here, which give an XP bonus when a crit is scored. Oh. Oh. There we go. Critical hit for XP. I've just leveled up. Which is bad timing, because I wanted to show that in a moment. Uh, yeah, crits... You get bonus XP, and the person clicking you gets the crit bonus. And the second thing is clickbait pinata. These are random pinata drops with different rarities. You get common, uncommon, rare, and seasonal. Seasonal are changed based on the time of year. Currently, this is being filmed in December, so this is a Christmassy pinata, which is a 70s porn VHS midgets on elves. Hmm. Bonus to 5 XP is only granted to the clicker, not the wearer. You won't get pinata drops clicking yourself. I've enabled that in this just for this demonstration. I didn't know Marie was going to come along and click me because she could have done that for me. But yeah, you won't get pinata drops yourself. You can disable pinata and you can disable criticals individually if you would like. Uh, the level up section of the menu controls the level up effects which you just saw a moment ago when I leveled. You can disable that which will disable the sound and the visual effects but you'll still gain XP and still level up. And you can change the colour. The default is gold which you just saw. And if we go back there's another option for hover text which is what appears above my head with details on what level I am what XP I currently have, the next required XP for the next level, and a title associated with which level I am. Every 10 levels, you gain a new title. Should we just rapid fire ourselves and get to 160 and see what the next title is? I think we probably should. Let's go back to the main menu. 
I'm going to jump ahead, go to the sounds menu, and I'm going to turn off voice and impact just to make it a little bit more bearable when I rapid fire myself. And then I'm just going to rapidly click. If you're watching local chat, you probably see a load of pinata drops and crits. The more the better, because I'll get more XP that way. What are we on? We need about another 60. Here we go, it's getting close. Let's change the colour actually before we do this. XP level up. Let's change it to. Let's do Marie's favourite rose. There we go. There we go. Okay, the next section of the menu is custom. If you would like to use your own custom textures or your own custom impact sounds and voice sounds, which are disabled, of course, let's put those back on. To use custom stuff, if you go into the custom menu, you get texture and sound option. If we go into texture, you can toggle on hand or cane mode because we'll discuss it in a second, but there's a hand and a cane mode for all of the spankers apart from the face slapper so while in hand mode if you toggle this on any texture uuid that you paste into this note card here texture hand left or ha texture hand right those will override the default textures uh, if we were to toggle this option on without actually pasting a texture into the note card You'll see it gives a little warning saying no valid UUID found in note card. Uh, so let's toggle that off. <coughs> Same applies to the sounds. <coughs> um, you can do hand, cane and voice. Hand affects hand mode, cane affects cane mode. And voice is across both modes. <coughs> so if we have to edit the contents, we've, also, we've got a cane, hand and vocals note card. And all you do is paste a UUID, one per line, so hit enter, new line, enter. If you don't have full perm sounds, you can just put the sound in the contents of the spanker and then type the name exactly, and it will trigger it that way as well. Let's not save that. Hand and cane mode we were just talking about. We're currently in hand mode. If we switch to cane, it will change the sounds and the textures. That's the cane texture. The cane sounds, impact sounds. I've got a whipping sound. You don't have to use this as a cane mode strictly. You can use custom textures and sounds. And you can, if we go back to the main menu, in the sounds menu, at the shop you can buy voice packs and impact packs so if we were to go into the packs using this packs button here we can choose voice packs and change which voice we want i've only got a few female ones at the moment installed um, if we go in pack and choose impact packs we get the choice between hand mode and cane mode so i mean technically we can go into the cane and we can use the default hand sounds instead of the cane sounds and oh, we'll get this, you know. if you've bought impact packs in the future i'll be releasing more uh you'll be able to choose all of those let's set this back to cane and marie's having a little go on me as well where were we? Hand and cane mode. Text. Okay, this one gets a little bit complicated. Uh, the basics, you've got chat local, which means chat messages appear for me in green on this particular viewer. Um, and anybody within local chat range can read those, which is like 20 meters. If we set it to chat uh. IM, Marie is graciously uh. attacking me. We get IMs. 
And obviously if we choose chat off, chat will go off. Hide name, that controls the object name. By default, it's the name is hidden. You can't see the object name of the span car. If we were to untoggle this, you'll see the name of the object, the Spanker object in the messages. If you're using the standard SL viewer, I don't know anybody that does. I think it still shows the object name, but it says no name. Uh, so if that applies to you, maybe you want to unhide the name. You can rename the object by clicking rename. If we rename it, uh, Murray ruining video, then when we click, we see Marie ruining video. And okay, and now the complicated options are editing the chat message for hand mode and the chat message for cane mode. They both operate exactly the same, but they affect the two different modes. If we edit the hand message, we're in hand mode at the moment. You'll see names. Uh, that controls whether the clicker uses display name or account name. And the owner uses display name or account name. I haven't got a display name, so it'd be the same for me. Uh, if you press test, it shows you it shows you what you would see. Uh, it, currently, it's clicker display name and my name, the owner name. I'm getting distracted by all of this rubbish that's coming up. Sorry. <laughs> uh, if we go back into here, we can edit the chat message. There's start and end options. Uh, the start of the chat message is the word that's between... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> is the word that's between the clicker and the owner's names. So currently it's whips, because we are in cane mode actually. So let's go back to the main menu. Set ourselves back to hand mode. Name, I'll go back to text. Edit hand message, start. So by default, this is slaps. So if I change it to punches. No, it says punches. And also we've got end. If we go into the end menu. By default, this is disabled. Um, it's going to basically put a word after the owner's name. So if we enable end text and then we set what the end text is going to be, if I type peck, full stop. Now when I click, I get ghost ship captain punches, ghost ship captains peck. And you'll notice it's ghost ship captains with an apostrophe S to denote ownership. That is this option here. If you want to turn that off, say we wanted to change it to viciously can't type now it's going to say ghost ah. ship captain punches ghost ship captain viciously no need for the ownership uh, if we go back we can click default and set it back to the default if we want to and we can do all of this in the cane menu exactly the same Let's go back to the main menu. Next option is fade time. Fade out. You can type in minutes how long you would like the redness to remain until it fades out. Um, and fade in. You get preset options. By default, it's on medium, uh, which means you basically accumulate one redness oh. hit one redness phase per hit. The redness has 20 phases, so it gradually builds up. Instant will immediately take you to 20 redness. So if you're impatient, you want it to go straight to red. It will still fade in, but it will go to full redness. Turbo, I think, is I think it's six. I think fast is three. It's been a long time since I looked at those. But yeah, set it back to medium. Uh, permissions, we've already looked at. 
distance. Self-explanatory just limits the distance that you have to be away from you. I think we put this on one meter so Marie can't attack me. Let's go back to the main menu. Sounds menu, we've already used this briefly. We'll go over it again. We can disable the voice and impact independently and the level up sound. Uh, you'll still see the visual effects, but you won't hear the sound if this is tick unticked. And then the packs option uh, controlled which packs you use. Like I said, you can buy the packs in the shop. Uh, when you buy packs, you'll just pay the vendor. You won't be delivered any sounds or anything like that. There's no installation required. You just pay the vendor and then they'll appear in this menu. Uh, you can have as many enabled as you want. And it will just pick a random sound from all of your choices. <coughs> and same applies to impact packs. I haven't got any in, in there at the moment, just the default ones. And you can choose which mode you're in at the moment. We're in hand mode and we can put them both on if we want. A mixture of the now this sync button, um, if you press this, it will send your choice of packs to any clickbay attachment that you happen to be wearing at the moment. This isn't a universal setting that's stored in a database anywhere. You have to actually click the button and then it will just send it across if you make any changes. Click sync, all of your clickbay attachments will use the same sound packs. Um, animation. We have default and custom. Default is a wobble, in this case it's a peck wobble. Boob slap or wobble is a bit more extreme. Face slap is like a tilted head and the spanker is a bum wobble. If we click that, default, turn the default off, and get the animation. And the custom option is enabled, but nothing will happen unless you add animations to the contents of these two click prims. So you can control left and right. Um, let's put an animation in there just to test it. Got these click prim animations for another thing I was working on. Let's chuck that in there. If SL behaves itself, there we go. So now when I click the left peg, it will trigger that animation every any time. If I put more than one animation in, it will just choose one randomly each time. And if you toggle off custom, it's not going to do that anymore. Anyway. <gasps> Visibility. If you toggle this off, there's no redness. So while you're dressed, basically, you, just, you toggle off visibility. Um, when you toggle off visibility, when you toggle it back on, the redness resets. So if you want to quickly reset the redness, you can toggle it off, wait for it to disappear, toggle it back on again, and it clears it. Ah, what else do we need to discuss in here? I think there's only probably one. There's one extra menu option that's associated with the boob slapper. Because the boob slapper uses um, animations with bone translation, it affects the skeleton. So it's like a deformer, basically. If when you when you first wear the boob slapper, you'll get this menu pop up at the top here, which is prompting you one time only to set settings for this particular boob slapper that you're wearing based on your body shape. There are three of these little menus, one after the other. The first is breast size, second is breast buoyancy, the next is breast cleavage. So you're going to want to look at your shape, look at your breast size slider, and then choose the closest number. If you really want to be a perfectionist about it, you will probably want to change your shape to match one of these numbers. Like if you're on 47, maybe round it up to 50 and choose 50. You'll notice that the animation just triggered there and deformed my boobs that I haven't really got because I'm a, on a male shape. Uh, that's what this does. Uh, so if I just choose 80 for breast size and 
buoyancy 75, breast cleavage 50. It's going to set my boobs by playing the animations. And now it knows which animations from the hundreds of animations that are in the contents to play so that your boobs don't get deformed. If you look in the boob slapper note card, there's a little guide in there that will help you set this up so that you never see any difference to your boobs uh, when you're clicked. If you don't uh, take the time to do that, you're going to see differences. Uh, if you've got small boobs, it's going to distort them and vice versa. So now it knows which animations to play. When I click. And obviously because I'm male, I need to reset my skeleton after that. And take that off. I believe that covers everything. Don't think I forgot anything despite all the distractions. Apologies for that and apologies for any bumpy noises with me typing, etc. Hope this video helps somebody. Uh, if you've got any questions, I am Ian World.